You guys need to see this. So this is a video from Greg Madison which blew up on social media and ever since I saw it I was obsessed with it. I mean how freaking cool is this? You're inside a game that actually maps your house. So you know what? Like a lot of us, I'm still stuck at home because of that pandemic outbreak, so I thought why not try to recreate this but in my own house. And I'm taking you on this journey, so let's get started. Okay, so here is how we're going to make it. So this is the Oculus Quest headset, it has these little cameras on the front that tracks if the player is moving in the real world to move accordingly in the game. So to map exactly my house, we will need to somehow recreate everything to the centimeters ready and then position it accordingly so that the virtual model match the real world, which will prevent me to bang my toes on all my furniture. Does it make sense? So to reproduce my house, I found out that the easiest way was to measure the dimension of the room using the augmented reality measurement app. And if you haven't tried it already, Ready? Go ahead, it's really impressive. Okay, next, based on the measure I took, I drew this 2D plan, so now my goal is to take this and put it in the computer. So if you want to recreate this for your own house, here is a little tip for you. Take a photo of the plan, put it on a quad where you want to model your house, make sure that the scale of the 2D plan match the scale in your game, so in my case 4 square on paper represent 1 meter, which is the side of a cube, and now you just have to reproduce your house exactly on top of these lines. Okay, there you go, the raw shape of the room is in the computer. Not bad, not bad, I know. Next, we need to add some furniture that match my room. But I got a good news, like a lot of people, I get most of my stuff from that big Swedish store. And most of their furniture are available for free on the internet, so let me just download this chair right there and put it in my scene. A few moments later. Now let's add some additional texture that looks like the floor and wall of my house. As always, let's make everything dark so that nobody will notice my lack of art skill. And here you go, we succeeded to model exactly my house. Already you can compare the two, I think we did a great job. Okay, so now is the tricky part, so bear with me. We now have a 3D model of the house that has the correct dimension. Now what we need to do is to position this 3D model so that it will stick where the real house is. To do so, I'm going to put a marker inside the game at a particular location, so in front of the fridge for example, and drop the VR camera at this exact location in the scene. This will make the default center of the game where the tracker is. Now before the thing the game, I need to be extremely careful and reset the original position of the player at the exact position where we put the tracker. So I will drop my headset exactly here and reset the position by pressing on the Oculus button in the right controller. This way the center position of the game will match the center position of the player and everything should match. But there is only one way to find out and it's to test the game. Oh my god, already this is freaking unbelievable. I mean, I want to be totally honest with you, the moment I started to reach out my arm to touch a wall and I felt it at the same position, I completely freaked out. But wait, if you thought this was the end of the video, you are wrong. We are not done yet. If we look at the original clip, we can see that the ends of the player are inside the game too. So let's work on that. I was able to quickly implement end tracking using one of my tutorials, link in the description below. And now it is time for the real fun. I want to implement some features that will let us interact with real objects but change the virtual world what some would refer as mixed reality. To do so, I worked on some advanced and tracking interaction like pinch grab, double end manipulation, user interface and more from the mixed reality toolkit. 
By the way, if you are interested to make your own VR game with these types of end tracking interactions, I will upload an extra tutorial on my Patreon which cover how to implement all of these features. And by subscribing to the $10 pledge, you will also have access to 10 other exclusive tutorials and to all the source code of my videos, more than 30 projects in total with this project included. And it also supports the channel, so what do you want more? After implementing some end tracking interaction, this is the final result. I really love how this project turned out, especially this 2D plan here that I've set at the exact height of my table. This way, it felt like I was touching a real surface while in VR. And this coffee mug was also another test that I wanted to make to see what would happen when manipulating a moving object in the real world. And this was not without spilling some coffee all over the place. So I'm curious, what do you think of this project? What feature would be awesome to see with this mixed reality setup? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. For me, I'm still getting surprised by the uses of VR. I mean, as shown by the hype cycle of emerging technology by Gartner, we know that VR is in a mature state. And it's true, we are seeing this technology more and more everywhere in real use case and not just for gaming. But still, one thing is for sure, there is more potential to this technology that we will see when headset gets smaller and more powerful. And I want to end this video by a quote from Mark Zuckerberg's email that was leaked in February on his thought about VR. Once you have a good VR AR system, you no longer need to buy phones or TVs or many other physical objects. They can just become apps in a digital store. Is this where we are headed with VR? Maybe. But what this project has shown me is that it was indeed possible and maybe closer than we can think it is. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video till the end. As always, make sure to like this video so that YouTube will recommend it to other VR lovers just like you. If you are interested by learning more about how to create your own end tracking application with advanced features, come check out my Patreon, the link is in the description below. On that matter, a big thank to the new Patreon who joined this week. You guys are the reason I'm able to do this. Have a nice day and see you soon.